It is said that MBBS is one of the toughest courses and only 0.01% of the people who give NEET are able to navigate this difficult course. And out of this small group of people, there are people who top. And in this video, I'm gonna try a topper's daily routine and let's see if I can survive even a single day. This is Somesh, one of my very good friends in college and I like to call him the quiz wizard because he loves to participate in quizzes. But more important is the fact that he has always been super helpful and supportive and I'm glad to show his daily routine on this channel. Hello everyone, we are final year MBBS students at BJMC Pune and in this video Somesh is gonna take us through a day in his life. I usually only wake up early for one thing, that is the gym. But today I had to wake up early, get ready and go to the college at 7am. Guys, it's currently 7 in the morning. And Tanmay asked me to do a vlog uh, related to studies, how the day looks in the final year. So I'm very excited. The library gate is not opened, so there is no one in the library. Mein. This is my library. This is where I sit. So, bhai, subay itna jaldi library mein aaya. Literally koi nahi hai aur itna jor se hum baat bhi kar sakte. To bhi kya karna hai? Bol tu. Subscribe karna hai. Aur fir baaki ka aaj ka kya plan hai? Bas tu dekhte ja. Back in my bag, yo. Conscious, I saw down back in my bag, and I gotta brag. I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel. Shorty throw that thing back. Now we are going to lecture. If it happened, then yes. But we are going. Yes. Eight o'clock. Full college. Ka. So this is our physiology lecture hall. Here we are going to first year. Mein aane ke. Lecture We are 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 Now it was time to practice questions from the topics that I had studied in the morning. And for this, my favorite Q Bank is Q Bank 5.0, which is India's only clinical Q Bank. This is not just a practice tool, but it is also a learning tool. This is because it has explanations for both right as well as the wrong options, which helps me to pick the right option as well as eliminate the wrong options. Every single question also has learning objectives. This helps me to quickly revise the important points from the topic from which the question has been asked. If all of this is still not enough, there are treasures at the end of each question which are basically flashcards which help us revise a complex topic in a matter of a few minutes and it is easy to bookmark these treasures and keep them for revision for later. And if you want to revise the topic again, if you think that you're not feeling confident about the topic, you can just click on the link of the embedded video lecture, which will take you to the respective video lecture and you can revise the entire concept again. I had my medicine posting and Somesh had his gynac posting. So it was time to say goodbye for some time. I was in a big dilemma. There were two important tasks in front of me. First was my medicine posting and the second big task was to get my OBGYN journal corrected. Both of them were at the same time so I decided to go for the OBGYN journal correction first and after the journal correction was over I went to my medicine posting but the teacher did not let me in and this is not the first time this was happening to me in the past few days. I was genuinely sad. I am usually very punctual and I love being on time. And just the other day I was kicked out of the medicine lecture hall because the teacher thought I was sleeping but I was actually not. They ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So this event just made me very sad. I came back to the library and started studying again.
and after lunch i went for my medicine tutorial where they were going to teach us various instruments which were actually going to be asked in the final exam viva The teacher was asking us very difficult questions and one of the questions was what are the things that are associated with the scientist or doctor Lenick so i just reflexively answered Lenick cirrhosis and it was right and the teacher was very impressed by me actually this is something that i had learned a week before that the scientist Lenick had coined the term cirrhosis and actually the teacher was very impressed with me and the sir asked my name also so i think it basically compensated for all the bad luck that i was having in the past couple of days and it completely made my mood okay the instruments that we learned about were endotracheal tube and foley's catheter iv cannulas etc and these are all the instruments that we use in medicine and especially in the medicine ward and in this entire process it was 5:30 already so i went to the canteen for a short maggi break and after that we were back in the library to study See you in my river trying to catch up Running see you running trying to catch up I see you guys been leaving breathless breathless One genius study hack that I learned from Somesh and I want to share with you guys is that instead of studying one subject in a day you can shift to studying two subjects in a day which will give you a fresh perspective and you will be able to get more done in the same day because studying the same thing can become monotonous and can eventually decrease our productivity so hence if we approach a subject with a fresh perspective we will be able to get more done and this is the logic behind this तो साढ़े सात बज चुके हैं एंड टेक्निकली हमको साढ़े आठ तक पढ़ना है ये तो साढ़े आठ तक पढ़ने वाला है बट मुझे घर पे जाना है और घर पे जाके जिम जाना है तो इसलिए मैं आज जल्दी निकलूँगा बट इससे मुझे आज ये समझा कि जितना मैं पूरे हफ्ते में पढ़ता हूँ उतना आज एक दिन में मंडे के दिन पर मैंने पढ़ लिया एंड ये काइंड ऑफ डिसिप्लिन कैसे मतलब लाने का हर रोज़ पढ़ने के लिए और क्या करना चाहिए कोई नहीं टारगेटेड स्टडी करना है हाँ हर सुबह जब अपन आते हैं तो अपना दिन प्लान करना है हाँ कि अपन ये दिन में क्या करेंगे मुझे तो बहुत मज़ा आया तनमय के साथ पढ़ाई करते हुए हाँ क्योंकि वो बहुत अच्छे से एकदम इन्वायरमेंट अच्छा रखता है बीच बीच में बातें करता है थोड़ा डाउट पूछता है तो इट किस मी अलाइव एंड में सोता है वो खुद अभी ये साइकिल तुमको फॉलो करना है तो और डिसिप्लिन चाहिए हाँ और डिसिप्लिन कब आता है जब अपन टारगेट स्टडी करते हैं हाँ दैट इज विशियस साइकिल टारगेटेड स्टडी इज इक्वल टू डिसिप्लिन यस अपन स्टडी तो करते हैं हर दिन स्टडी करते हैं हाँ तो एक दिन पीक आता है उसके बाद अपना जो स्लोप है वो कम 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 खुद जाता है हाँ तो इंटरमीडिएटली अपने को ब्रेक रहना चाहिए हाँ एक दिन अपना खराब गया तो पूरा का पूरा हफ्ता उसमें बिताना नहीं है हाँ तो इंटरमीडिएटली ब्रेक जैसे कि सात दिन के बाद एक ब्रेक लूँगा आधे दिन का ब्रेक लूँगा पूरे दिन का ब्रेक लूँगा तो वो लेना चाहिए और रिविजन इज दिक्री जब अपन पढ़ रहे हैं दिन भर पढ़ रहे तो वो जो पढ़ा है रात को एक बार नज़र के नज़र के नीचे से जाना चाहिए हाँ क्योंकि अपना जो ह्यूमन ब्रेन है वो एट्टी परसेंट नॉलेज भूल जाए है ना तो ट्वेंटी परसेंट रिटर्न कर पाता है तो इसलिए रिविजन इज दिक्री तो फिर सिर्फ ट्वेंटी परसेंट पढ़ो one thing that i realized today was that it is all about pushing yourself i don't usually stay in college for this long it is not something that i am used to but it is definitely not something that i cannot do so if i push myself hard enough and i push myself towards my goal i will definitely be a better version of myself and that is what we are trying to accomplish here and this is what it means by trusting the process if, if you guys like this video you will also like the first day of college in final year which is this video and